Hey everybody, we are back with the marketing manager of Eat and Run. Uh, so we gotta go over this again. Eat and Run, it's an app that does what now? Well, what our developers have done is design a data-driven dynamic dining discovery and delivery service specializing in serving specifically customers and clients currently doing cardio. Our primary purpose is to pair people with the perfect place to provide them a quick bite, day or night, before they're done with the run, all from the cloud. Ah, okay, okay, I see. So your app delivers food to runners. Yeah, exactly, but from the cloud. Okay, so that interview has 1.8 million views. Now traffic is going through the roof. I'm prouder than ever to have started this together, but all this attention is also gonna mean some challenges for our technology, right? Yeah, that's good. And now more people around the world can grab food while jogging, walking, or marathon training in these uncertain times. We should definitely make sure our infrastructure can handle the surge of traffic. Sure, sure. Everything will be fine. We always planned for scale, walk, then run, then eat and run, right? Mm, yes, of course we did at totally big scale. Ah, uh, I see. So maybe we're not as ready as I thought. Well, for the good of the company, for the good of the people of the world and their ability to satisfy cravings on the go, we have to figure out a way to scale up. Don't worry, we're running on the most scalable cloud architecture in the world, and I'm sure that we have the capacity to handle any traffic spikes. They deal with enormous denial of service attacks before breakfast. Mm, breakfast, yes. Okay, but let's do some research. Huh, uh, this article on the internet has suggested some changes that I think we can make. Okay, one option is load balancers and managed instance groups. With all this traffic, we could deploy load balancers to distribute load more efficiently across our front-end servers. Then on top of that, we set up managed instance groups for our virtual machine, so each group can scale up or resize based on demand. And option two looks like cloud CDN. We could speed up the delivery of our assets to our clients with a content delivery network and added caching. Looks like using cloud CDN helps us put the static assets closer to those who need them, reducing the need for those requests to hit our compute backends. Then we could add caching for static content stored on the CDN, so our signup page for new eaters and runners would probably load faster. It's up to you. What should we prioritize for the engineering team first, since we only have limited time and resources to handle this big traffic spike? Option one, load balancers and managed instance groups to scale up our backend serving. Option two, content delivery, networking, caching to speed up our asset delivery. So what will it be? 